Hi, welcome to Hymns with Ken. This channel was created in hopes that it would reach those who are shut-ins or simply cannot go to church to participate in corporate worship with other believers. It was also created for the enjoyment of those who just want to listen or sing along with these great and powerful old hymns of the church. My prayer is that you would be ministered to by God's Holy Spirit as you listen. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell so that you will receive notifications of all the updates that I'm able to post. If you would please also give the video a thumbs up and comment if you like the video. These actions will help the channel to become more popular in YouTube and reach an even larger audience with the Gospel of Christ. It came upon the midnight clear, written in 1849. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Luke chapter 2, verses 13 and 14. Edmund Hamilton Sears is the author of two Christmas carols that are mirror images of each other, written 15 years apart. He was born in Sandusfield, Massachusetts, on April 6, 1819, and attended Union College in Schenectady, then Harvard Divinity School. He was ordained in the Unitarian ministry and chose to devote himself to small towns in Massachusetts, where he had time to study, think, and write. At 24, he wrote Calm on the Listening Ear, a Christmas carol based on the song of the angels in Luke 2. It proved very similar to the more famous carol he would write later, having the same meter and theme, and it can be sung to the same tune. Calm on the listening ear of night, come heaven's melodious strains, where wild Judea stretches far, her silver-mantled plains. Celestial choirs from courts above shed sacred glories there, and angels with their sparkling lyres make music on the air. Fifteen years later, he wrote its more famous twin, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear is an unusual carol in that there is no mention of Christ, of the newborn babe, or of the Savior's mission. Sears, after all, was Unitarian. The author's only focus is the angelic request for peace on earth. Notice again the date of the hymn. It was written as the clouds of civil strife were darkening the United States, setting the stage for the war between the states. We can grasp the concern that drove Edmund to write this hymn by reading a stanza now usually omitted from most hymnals. Yet with the woes of sin and strife the world hath suffered long. Beneath the angel's strain have rolled two thousand years of wrong. And man at war with man hears not the love song which they bring. O oh, hush the noise, ye men of strife, and hear the angels sing. Edmund Sears became well known because of his hymns and books. He was awarded a Doctor of Divinity degree in 1871 and took a preaching tour of England where he was met by large congregations. He died in Weston, Massachusetts on January 16, 1876.